Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to reflect a bit on why Jesus died for us. This time of Lent reminds us to reflect on that act of love in which Jesus died on the cross so that we could return to our original purity, that state of grace, and return to our Father in that glorious heavenly kingdom. We don't like to think about our personal flaws. We don't even like to refer to them as sins, if we even acknowledge them at all. We take credit for all of our successes, but we blame our failures on everyone else and on our circumstances. Adam and Eve had everything they needed in that garden. They were given one rule, one don't. Everything in the garden was subject to them but yet it wasn't enough. The serpent took the challenge and he said to them, I have a deal which you cannot refuse. Eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and become like gods. And they saw they were naked and they were afraid. What does that even mean? Well, think about it. How much of our lives are driven by fear? Fear of making mistakes, fear of looking like a fool, fear of not being loved, of terrorism, of germs, even of death. But that's not what God intended for us. He intended for us to live and live life to the full. So God sent Jesus humbly as a baby, dependent on parents. He grew and learned just like we all do. And he taught paradigm shifts, huge paradigm shifts, like turn the other cheek. Then he paid the ultimate price for our pride. He suffered and he died on the cross. But he rose victorious so that again we could return to that purity and that state of grace that we lost when we gave in to that first temptation. His sacrifice is a pure gift, but we have to accept it. That means we have to learn humility and we have to be willing to recognize those behaviors and change those behaviors that breed negativity and destruction, those that are counter to the kingdom of God. So will we choose to continue living in fear driven by our false pride? Or will we allow God to free us from that bondage? Love and devotion can't be forced. It must be freely given. So choose freedom today and choose to live. Thanks so much for listening. Pray well.